how many hours do we have? It just, uh, but the, the great thing about Kenny was he never changed his plan. He never changed his method. He never changed what he kept telling me. As my body progressed, we started working on different things as my body got bigger and my body got stronger, but the message was always the same. Well, let's talk about something that intrigues me. I've seen it in his books, but I want to hear it from your mouth. Wrists in splints. What does that mean? <laughs> when would you use it? What's it all about? Yeah, what's it all about? There's a number of ways that you can do it, and uh, and, and he explained it to me this way: that he wanted he wanted the the arms and the hands out of the swing. He wanted the upper body, he wanted the the chest, he wanted the shoulders to turn. So he would say arms in a cast or hands in a splint, and what that meant was you you, you don't move the club with your your hands and your arms you move the club with your with your body you might the center of my chest he used to say hand me the toe of the club but what that meant he wanted that toe of the club to go the the, the widest and the farthest but he said don't give it to me with your hands turn that club to me and he'd be standing right there where that camera is and he said turn that toe to me but he'd have it have me do it with with the center of my chest and turning my shoulders. And what about on the other side of the ball, John? Would that be the same true quiet hands through the hips? Quiet hands through the hitting area. Let Take the arms and the hands.